Dr. Heather Rogers here, and tonight we're going to talk about IPL or intensive flight. And I have a Palomar Icon IPL machine, um, and this is a workhorse in my office. Um, another one that I have heard wonderful things about and I have not used, but I almost purchased was the M22. But there are dozens of different intense pulse light machines, and it's really important that when you choose to have this treatment, you do it where the person operating the machine knows what he or she is doing. You can get a really good result with a lot of different of these machines, but IPL is also has the highest risk of complications because oftentimes they're being used by people who are not familiar with the technology. And even if they are familiar with the technology, mistakes can happen. So the person taking care of you needs to know how to fix any mistakes that they make. IPL is a wonderful treatment to treat brown and to treat red. It is not good on people with dark skin and it is not good for people with melasma because the risk of having a complication is significantly higher. But for most individuals who type one, two, or three skin, they can get a beautiful result with getting rid of those blood vessels around your nose, or the broken blood vessels in your cheek, and the age spots that we all get with time with IPL treatment. When the treatment is done well, you can see a 50% improvement with one treatment. Oftentimes people want a better than the 50% improvement, and then they might choose to do more than one treatment. I would say the vast majority of my patients do one treatment every year just to keep their skin looking fresh and to keep those broken blood vessels and brown spots from getting too big or too difficult to treat. When you are being treated with IPL, you need to have eye protection, and the person performing the treatment also needs to wear eyeglasses and things attractive. And when we do the treatments, we apply a gel to the skin. The skin allows the laser or the intense pulse light in this case to be conducted better. So we put a little bit of gel on the skin and the gel is cooling so it feels good, but it also helps conduct the light of the laser. And then we treat the person. Whenever I treat anyone with IPL on their face or on their body, I have them come in, I do my test spots first, I then put on numbing medicine that sits for 30 minutes, we clean up the numbing medicine, we clean up their face with an antibiotic soap, and then we treat them and we coat them with the laser gel. After you have the gel in place, then you can check your test spots, make sure that um, you got the result that you want. And what you're looking for with those test spots is to make sure that you see a reaction in the skin without causing too much of a reaction, darkening and necrosis of the skin. So I put the gel on my hand. This is the Max G head. So with the Palomar Icon laser, the Max G is um, has wavelength sort of already filters already built into the head. And some of the other devices, you choose the filter. And when I'm talking about filter, it means making the light more specific for whatever target you're trying to hit, be it um, red or brown. So right now my laser is on, I've already done my test spots, and just so you can see what it's like when the laser goes off, you put it on, and then one, two, three. And you can see there's a little bright light. It really doesn't hurt very much, particularly if you're numb. Um, and it can give you a wonderful result. It's not something I'll do on people who are tan, people who have dark skin, or people who have melasma. And if somebody recommends that treatment for you and you have any of those three things, talk to another provider. Because the most important thing is whenever you do one of these elective treatments, you want to have wonderful results that make you feel good about spending money on yourself. And when that doesn't happen and you have a complication, A, it makes you feel terrible. It makes you scared to do other cosmetic treatments. And lastly, um, it can just be really frustrating. So make sure the person who's doing the treatment knows what he or she is doing. Have a good conversation with them about what are the expected results. And most importantly, this person needs to be somebody you can trust to fix something if something were to go wrong. Okay, that's my um, basics on IPL. Just DM us if you have any questions. Have a great night. Bye-bye.